How to grind the British aviation tech tree in War Thunder Air Realistic Battle. The British tech tree has a wide variety of war winning and game poning designs. There is the Spitfire Mark 1A, the Spitfire Mark 2A, the Spitfire Mark 2B, the Spitfire VB, the Spitfire VC, the Spitfire Mark 9, the Spitfire Mark 16, and the Griffin Engine Mark 14, 18, 22 and 24. Don't think it is Spitfire all the way down. There is more to Britain than just the Spitfire. When you get bored of poling everything other than a zero in the Spitfire, you can switch to the Seafire Mark III, Mark VIII or FR-47. If you wish to go the premium path, for that sweet, sweet, RP and SL, there is a wide variety of game-winning grinders there as well. For instance, the Spitfire Mark II A Venture, Prendergast Spitfire, the Spitfire F Mark XIV-C, and, Play Jess Spitfire LF Mark IX-C. War Thunder Air Realistic Battle is a dogfight simulator with four phases. 1. The Scramble. 2. The Merge. 3. The Furball, and, 4. The Cleanup. The Spitfire excels in the Scramble, the merge and the furball. In a Spitfire, it is best to leave the cleanup phase to the US aircraft with their several thousand rounds of freedom firing 50 caliber guns. Instead, land, rearm your precious Sapi Hispano rounds, activate blind hunt, and finish the game for your team. To grind to a Spitfire you have to get the Gladiator biplane first. The Gladiator is well, a biplane, it is slow, with two wings, and an imperial poppy trades worth of lift. Get the gladiator, and loop, loop, loop and do more loops. Once you have the gladiator, immediately start researching the Spitfire Mark 1A. The faster you can get a Spitfire, the happier your inner Churchill will be. Learn to Spitfire with the Mark 1A. Climb with web to 3.5 kilometers, this will put you the same height as the bombers, so you can make a decision to go for a bomber, dive on an attack aircraft, or climb some more if the opposing team is composed entirely of XB-50s or P-38s. Dial your throttle back to 93% to avoid overheating, and pick up speed. Choose your target, and dive on them. Ignore the carburetor warning, it makes no difference in game. Once you have your opponent under 500 meters, turn inside them, and shoot them down. The next thing to learn on your path to grinding out British top tier, is how to Hispano. The Spitfire Mark IIb has 20mm Hispano cannons. These have the same muzzle velocity as the 303 Brownings, this means you do not have to aim separately for the cannon and machine guns. Cough, Type 99 cannon. Off. Choose air target belts for the Hispano with its British sappy goodness, and universal or tracer belts for the Brownings. This combination, is a veritable Guy Fawkes worth of gunpowder blow-up ability. On November 5th every year, War Thunder players celebrate the Hispano and Browning combination, with bonfires, fireworks and flaming early war Japanese aircraft. The VC wing adds a mix of Hispano cannon, Brownings, or 50 caliber guns. As the marks progress, the Merlins get more and more powerful until replaced by the Regina Rex Griffin engine, and finally, the Spitfire is replaced by jet aircraft. The Spitfire is the only first generation stressed skin monoplane to make it through the entire propeller engine era, and end its service as a super prop. It is that good. For the Spacefire Griffin Spitz, climb with web to 4 km, this will put you above the jets. Dial your throttle back to 100% to avoid overheating, and pick up speed. Dive on a passerby jet, and once you have your opponent under 500 meters, turn inside them, and shoot them down. An advantage of the Spitfire is gameplay. If you are concerned you have not side climbed sufficiently, whether Germany really suffers, or simply that your gaming chair is subpar, then you can wade into your opponents with a Spitfire, turning and burning, and before you know it, Bob will be your uncle. For ornithophobic players, 
or simply those who do not care for avian etymology, a good tier 3 grinder is the Hawker Typhoon Mark 1B. Dogfighting in War Thunder occurs at low altitude, the Tiffy's Napier Sabre is powerful low down, the thicky thick wing means it is maneuverable in the dense air near the ground, and the four Hispano cannon have a widespread for wing snapping sappy goodness. Armed with bombs, rockets and ground belts, the Tiffy is a strong aircraft for ground pounding, silver lion farming, and chopping strike aircraft out of the daggered sky. But Pommy Polly you ask, what about the British bombers? Are they good grinders? The answer is no. The Lancaster and Halifax were amazing strategic bombers in the real world, but have no place in a 10-minute dogfight simulator, with goals that barely stretch to the tactical. The British bombers with their weak browning turrets fold quicker under German cannon, than the English football team in the European Championship. The best strategy with any bomber line, bomber base, die, let the bomber repair on its own, rinse and repeat. Bombers are not worth the repair costs like a Spitfire is. What shall we do with the Westland Werven? What shall we do with the Westland Werven early in the morning? Put him in a longboat until he is sober. Is the Wyvern a quick path to rank 4? The answer is maybe. Bomber base, shoot down a strike aircraft, die, rinse and repeat, is the whiny high-pitched music of the Wyvern. Do that dance often enough and you will get your precious rank 4 Spitfires. The Westland Wyvern is a bit like Scottish sword dancing, alright, but why, why, why? The biggest issue with the Wyvern is that it costs money and is not a Spitfire. It is kind of fun though. Britain does not have a standout early jet, the Vampire and Meteor are good dogfighters, but are slow in comparison to others in their BR. The Meteor manages to hang on until 8.0 with the Swift being the first supersonic. The Hunter is rank 5, and a subsonic girl in a supersonic world, where opponents are armed with missiles. The iconic British aircraft in the upper tiers do not fit the meta, and your best strategy is to muddle through until you get the Phantom. What is the fastest way to grind through the British aviation tech tree? Get the Spitfire Mark 1A or buy the Premium 2A Venture, grind to the Tropical Spitfire VB, then the F Mark 9, and onward to the 5.7 BR Spitfire LF Mark 9. Vampire your way to the Hunter or Harrier, and then to the Phantoms.